So you want to buy your kid a Ninja Line obstacle course for Christmas, but you went on Amazon and there's just so many different ones to choose from, you don't know where to begin. Well, you're in luck because that's what this video is for, to show you what to look for and how to pick the perfect one to put under the tree for your kid this Christmas. So stay tuned. But what's up? I'm Jeff and welcome back to the workshop. There's brand after brand after brand of different kinds of ninja courses and you can't tell the difference. And a lot of them are brands that you're not familiar with, you don't know but I've been researching this stuff for years. I know what brands to trust, which ones to avoid, as well as what makes a good Ninja course and what doesn't. It's almost like buying a cable TV package. I'm, I'm old, but I'm not that old. I've never bought cable TV. Anybody that remembers that, you like had to buy a group of channels and that was the groups of channels you got and you had to buy things in groups and you got stuff you want along with stuff you didn't want. Ninja lines are kind of the same, whereas they come with different sets of obstacles and you want to get this obstacle, but it comes with three of these that you don't really want and it, you have to buy them as a set and if somebody could make like an a la carte ninja course that would be great you just pick which ones you want and add them together so let's get into what makes a ninja course good if you look at the cheapest ones on amazon this is going to be the sub 100 range there's some decent ones but a lot of them share some different characteristics one of them is they have very simple obstacles and that's going to be monkey knots monkey bars and rings and then as you go up in price, you're gonna get a bunch of different variety. You're gonna get like the spinner ninja wheels. You're gonna get the rings that like slide along. You're gonna get cargo nets. All this stuff's not gonna come with the bottom tier. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to look for is a lot of them are gonna say upgraded hardware, upgraded connections where the different obstacles hang on the line as well as the ratchet itself. And a lot of these are upgraded now, so that's good. You don't have to worry about that because that's always a concern. You want something that's definitely gonna be strong enough and gonna be safe for your kids to play on. But it seems like all the cheaper ones have slowly fallen off the market and pretty much most of what you're gonna be able to find, as long as you don't go too, too cheap, is gonna be pretty good. So as you're looking through the different ones, just make sure that it says it has upgraded connections as well as an upgraded ratchet. And then you want one that has tree protectors too because you don't wanna damage the trees that you're connecting this to. And by the way, if you don't have trees, then you're out of luck. I suppose you could attach a post into the ground, concrete it in there, but that's a lot of work. And it's just easier if you have trees. Yeah, putting posts into the ground is probably cheaper than going and buying a new house with trees, but I highly recommend going and buying a house with trees because it'll just make your life better. <laughs> Another thing to consider is gonna be customer service. The one way you can check this is to go on Amazon and look at the place where you can ask questions and have them answered. Make sure that the seller is answering questions and usually that seller is the manufacturer. You know that you're gonna be able to get somewhere if you do have an issue, which a lot of you probably won't. I've had different ones for years and I've never had an issue. But if you do, you wanna know that that company is gonna stand by their product. So just make sure you're looking for what, you're looking for a company that's responsive, company that you're gonna be able to easily communicate with. While running this channel, I've actually sent head correspondents sent emails out to of several of these companies and some of them I've heard back from and some of them I don't. One thing I could say is NinjaSafe, who these products here are from, no matter what time of day I email them, they seem to get right back to me. And you know that that is a sign of great customer service. One more thing to consider is the length of the line. You wanna make sure you know how far apart the trees are that you wanna hang this from and that those trees are strong enough to support it. And then you wanna make sure the line is long enough that it will reach around those and have a little bit to spare because wrapping around the tree is gonna shrink it up a bit, especially if they're bigger circumference trees. All right, so now it's time for my picks. You don't wanna spend time digging through and comparing all the different kinds. I'm gonna tell you what I would buy in a few different situations if I were looking for one to buy today. And this is a question I've gotten in the comments on some of my setup videos. So for people short on time, this is what you wanna hear. Scenario one, you have plenty of money, you wanna buy something that's gonna be everything your kid dreamed of. You've got at least three trees to hang this from. What I would go with is the Ninja Safe bundle. And this was previously sold as a bundle, but when I was recording this, I could not find it. So you, you have to buy all three separately, but this is gonna be $250 for all three things. And you get their upgraded Ninja line. You'll also get their Ninja pulley, which is like a zip line that's on a separate slack line ratchet strap. And then you get the tree climbers, which all three together, that's basically going to be like a full blown playground in your backyard. Your kids are gonna love this. They're gonna have hours and hours of fun. You're not gonna go wrong with that, but that is the most expensive suggestion that I have, is the Ninja Safe bundle of all three of their products. Scenario number two, you're looking for something that is maybe not as fully fleshed out as that, but is something that is still going to have a lot of fun on just a simple Ninja line. And this is gonna be in the... That's somebody flushing the toilet. <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> Mid-tier, standalone Ninja Core set. This is gonna be in the 100 to 150-ish price range. I'm gonna give you two options to go with this one. Number one, the Ninja Safe standalone 
Ninja line that we just talked about as part of the bigger set, that by itself is going to be usually between 129 to 159 The price fluctuates, as most things on Amazon do. And that is a good value. It has a lot of different variety. It has the cargo net, it has the spinner, it has the rings, as well as some monkey knots, some monkey bars, the rope ladder. It's got everything you're going to need. And I personally own this one, and that's why I'm recommending it. And it is super high quality. I've left it outside all summer long for two summers now, and there is no wear and tear whatsoever on it. It's the one that I trust just because I've had it. But another option that I'll throw out there is from the brand Ju... Uh, let's just, hold on. Ju... Jugeter, Jugeter, Ju... Jugeter, Jug... Jujuder, Jujuder, I can't pronounce it. A lot of these are from brands that I can't pronounce. But this one has a lot to offer too. Let me just read it off here so I get it right. It has a cargo net. It has several different styles of rings. It has the spinner. It has a rope ladder, some monkey bars. And this one comes with one of those nest swings that are really cool. You can fit several kids on. This looks like a cool set. And if I was going to buy one today, this one is currently right about 150. It looks like it has all the upgraded hardware, all the stuff I talked about. Like I said, I don't personally own this one, so I can't attest to it that much. But from what I can see on here, it looks pretty good. So I'd recommend that one as well. <coughs> I gotta get a drink of water. <clears throat> and then scenario number three, you're looking to not spend that much money and you might even have younger kids. This is from another brand that I can't pronounce. <laughs> Parent LB, Parentable. Parantable, I don't know, Parantable. This one's pretty cool. It has ninja line, it has a rope ladder, a climbing rope, a swing, several different sorts of monkey bars. It has a spinner, it has a bunch of rings. And then what makes this stand out and makes it great for younger kids is this one includes a second slack line to put along underneath it. So if the kids are not quite strong enough to hold on to these obstacles and go along, they have the slack line there that they can walk along as well. And I think that, and plus the inclusion of the swings and stuff, that makes this a great thing for the younger kids, as well as it's the cheapest one that I would recommend. So I hope after all that, that you feel more informed, better able to make a decision that's going to put a smile on your kid's face this Christmas. And they're going to have tons of fun with throughout the year. We spoke several times about the Ninja Safe Ninja line. If you want to know more specifically about that one, including how to set it up, click on this video right here. And until next time, Get out there in your backyard and have a fun size adventure of your own. <coughs> My throat's getting so dry. <clears> throat>